been said that the key element for any problem-solving activity is to understand the problem. It is this thought that is the driving force behind the development of an exciting new learning program, Puzzle-Based Learning. Professor Zbyszek Mikhailovich from the School of Computer Science at the University of Adelaide is the writer and developer of this unique course. And I was involved in uh, educational institutions all my life, working with younger and older students and so on. And always I had a feeling that something is missing in the program. And over the last 10 years I've been experimenting with uh, on different levels in different countries and different continents with a variety of puzzles, introducing them gradually in a variety of courses and always responses were fantastic. You know what? I need a little bit more information. And the father replied, sure, this is, here it goes. My oldest son has blue eyes. <laughs> And mathematician said, that's sufficient. And he gave immediately the answer. And the question is, you have to replicate the process. You have to discover what was the age of the first son, second son, and third son. It's unique because it's unstructured. So you have, don't have a, a formal curriculum in the sense that you would for another subject. I think the puzzle-based learning is, is a great way to excite the student's interest. Uh, I think it gives them a great in to learning about fundamental material. And it teaches you how to think, I guess the, the term is out of the box, but think in such a way that you look at problems in a completely different light. Whether that's about uh, mathematical aspects, uh, computing aspects, general problem solving techniques. I think that there's a number of benefits in taking this course because it introduces students to solving actual problems. As you go through life, you, you have all sorts of problems, whether you're putting up a shed in the back garden or working out your, the best mortgage, you need a whole lot of reference points. And puzzle-based learning will think will last them in everything they do, not just in academic life. One of the exciting aspects of puzzle-based learning is the interest it receives from those who sit the course and their ability to apply this teaching across the board to other subjects and areas of life. I'm a big fan of puzzle-based learning and I mean I'm really into thinking in different ways and kind of trying to get a different perspective on things which is really great, well, it's what the course is doing. It does help us look at problems differently and you look out of the forest as my teacher used to say. It forces you to think in different ways, it forces you to analyse how you look at problems and, and how you solve them. I guess if you can look at problems that you initially would think of as having a completely different solution to the real solution, then I guess that'll help in more real life applications. So yeah, I, I liked it. I think it's important because it engages them very quickly in the learning process. Uh, having been to one of the lectures that Sir Bishop has given, I walked down the stairs of this building afterwards and I don't think students knew who I was, but there were quite a few of them around me and I'd never heard a group of students so excited and engaged about a lecture before. The second part is the following. Look at this remaining square we didn't consider before and divide it into five identical pieces. And I saw some amazing sequences of uh, thoughts and reasoning. Even I saw one very good mathematician from School of Mathematics who after seven or eight hours was ready with informal proof that it is impossible. And the solution actually is very simple, <laughs> but after you complete the first part, it's extremely difficult, which only proves that if you do things a particular way, it is very difficult to escape and to look at some problem in a slightly different way. Eight years ago, in one of my books, I included a few puzzles. And again, until today, the book is bestseller. So at some stage, I thought, Let's remove everything else and let's concentrate on puzzles. Let's uh, introduce a program which would help a variety of students on many levels in a variety of faculties, departments, schools to look at problems in a different way and to be a little bit better problem solvers. The puzzles that have been chosen as part of this course are unstructured puzzles and have a myriad of solutions. Some have unique solutions, some have many different solutions and 
Students need to think laterally and apply a whole range of mathematical concepts in order to solve these problems. This course will actually put some of the fun back into that. It will appeal to the students. I think it will be ideal in motivating them in the other courses that they have to do. So for, for me, from my perspective as the head of school, it's vital that we have a course that generates some interest. I think the fundamental benefit is learning to think without constraints about problems that excite the imagination. I think it's unique. I've never seen anything like this. We all have a curiosity in puzzles. All of us who work in computer science or mathematics have an interest in this. is now a sort of, a, not light-hearted, it's not the right word, but it's not formal either. It's generating interest back in the students. So it's, it's, I've never seen anything like this at all. The course has been designed in such a way that it can find a place in any teaching institution around the world and is destined to revolutionise the way teachers and students alike approach the solving of problems and facing challenges. From the university's point of view, this has the capacity to really raise the quality of a lot of our teaching across the board and uh, I envisage it having considerable influence uh, across the range of courses we offer. Well, in other forms of learning, it tends to be learning things almost by rote, whereas this dispenses with all of that, and it teaches you to think about a particular problem. So I suppose it's problem-based learning around puzzles, uh, but it does teach a different way of thinking, which is what the benefit would be for other courses. For the course to be used elsewhere, I think one of the things that you, you certainly need somebody who has an interest in puzzles. I think in every university you'll find computer scientists and mathematicians who have an interest in puzzles. I think the textbook that goes along with it has a lot in there to aid somebody actually doing the course. But enthusiasm is probably the main ingredient and I think once you do it once the results will be obvious. I am more than positive that any person with some right attitude to puzzles can teach this course, whether it is on high school level, whether it is introductory level at university, even if it is some problem solving workshop for um, industrial company or some business. To find out more about puzzle based learning, visit our website puzzlebasedlearning.edu.au Many students told me at different stages that they used to know some uh, other professor at some other university who loved puzzles and he was a great guy. So somehow I'm making a connection that puzzle lovers are good people. <laughs>